oh my god I'm on the wrong side of the road I'm gonna die yeah, that was necessary aye 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 So this is my first real, real outing on my new gravel bike. My last video was my first outing on it. Oh, and I've done it again. Super tuck. Well, I say my first outing. My first outing was four weeks ago now when I unboxed the bike and I rode it around my house a few times. I don't count that as my first outing as I was using tow cages, didn't have a bike helmet and only rode up and down my street for 30 or so minutes. It was all very safe. Due to the appalling British spring weather, the bike then sat undisturbed for nearly four weeks until only a few days ago when I went for a cheeky 10k bike ride around my village, riding up and down a small hill near my house. Holy f Aye, aye, aye. I didn't change gear. I don't even know how to. Finding hill climbing and descending fun. It's fun though, the hill's fun. Probably more fun than a 44 year old man should do. But the ride was only 10K and considering I have my London to Brighton bike ride in just over a week from now, which is 54 miles, I thought I'd better get some miles under my belt. As I fly down this really bumpy road, it's just not my camera, sit rep. So today's ride is, I'm just gonna take it easy the hill here, Today's ride is a practice ride, but unlike my last video, my last cycling video, it's a practice ride for the London to Brighton. Uh, I live in deepest, darkest Essex. I've decided to cycle to Clacton from my house. I live in the heart of Essex, so I decided to cycle from my sleepy village to Clacton on Sea. I like the seaside and thought it was a good enough destination as any. I googled the route on Google Maps, realised Google suggested I take the A12 all the way there. Anyone that's ridden a bike will know that riding on an A road is probably not a very good idea. I'm going over the A12 now and then we're on country roads to the next town. What I have done is I've put the GPS coordinates for today's cycle on my watch because I've got no idea how to get to Clacton on a bike. Obviously, I know I had to get there on a, in a car, pretty much A12. No way am I allowed to cycle on a major A road like this. And even if I was, which I'm not, I wouldn't, as I'm probably the most nervy cyclist ever. And I want to attempt to stick to back roads and trails wherever possible. I'd also like to get to the destination with my head still intact. I also looked on a website called We Are Cycling UK and I plotted a route from my house to Clacton-on-Sea hoping that the majority of the route would be better than following Google's kamikaze cycling route. But I'm going to Clacton just purely because it's a nice day. I like the seaside and there's two things I want to do. Firstly, I want to practice the bike as much as I can. So everything that goes with it, all the paraphernalia, what I need to carry, what happens if I get a puncher, all that jazz, cleats, practice my cleats, taking my feet in and out. Uh, fitness wise, I'm not worried. Bike fitness, because I've been doing a lot of indoor biking, it's just confidence on a bike. I just feel like an imposter at the moment. When I'm on the roads, I've got this overwhelming urge to let everyone go past me before I cycle. And obviously doing that on a main road, I'm not gonna get anywhere. So that's priority number one. Priority number two, is I've got Tracy picking me up from Clacton in a couple of hours. So we bought a bike rack to go on the car. Never used a bike rack in my life. I want to practice using that because I need that to get to Clapham Common on the 16th of June, which is in about 10 days. And then I have to ride 54 miles on the London to Brighton. Over the past year now, I have massively improved my cycling fitness using Zwift. I'm fit enough to attempt a long ride, but I need to work on my bike handling and road riding confidence and skills. That is the purpose of today's long ride. I really need to get some IRL cycling experience under my belt if I want to enjoy the London to Brighton bike ride I have coming up next week. 
there are three things I want to get out of today's big old long ride. The first one is to work out the best way to record this challenge for my YouTube channel. The second thing is setting up the bike rack for transport on my car. So I've got Tracy meeting me in Clacton for lunch on the seafront and when we finished our chip shop chip lunch I'm going to hook the bike up on the back of the car and transport it home hopefully without incident. I need to know how to do this for the drop off and collection on the L2B day. L2B day? On the London to Brighton day. This is my hill, Super Tuck. So today's plan route is a 56k oh. ride through all of the lovely roads and trails of Essex. Wrong gears again. High gear to low gear. Was it low gear to high gear? I can never remember that. However, with all the bobbing and weaving I did, as well as some wrong turns, I actually end up cycling just over 62K. I literally added 6K to this ride by not paying enough attention to my watch. Main road up here. But what I've done, I've been quite clever. So I have downloaded a GPX file from a cycling website, which, you know, I think I'm being clever. Oh, shit. I think I'm being clever, but probably everyone does it. Oh, he wants me to go down here. On hindsight, post-ride, now, using this website was probably the best thing I did. I then downloaded the GPX file and uploaded it to my Garmin watch so I could follow it en route. Full on gravel path, here we go. This is gonna test the old tires. Oh. I'm not speeding through here. I've even taken my feet out the cleats. This is apparently is a cycle path. Oh. Apparently. Flipping heck. Trying to get my foot back in now. Pedals seem to stop facing down. And I don't know why that is. It's like they're counterbalanced the other way. All right, feet are in. Oh, no, they are now. And then the third priority, and probably the most important of the three, I need to get used to the cleats on this bike, specifically clipping in and out without falling in front of a moving vehicle. I am really, really bad at cleats. So yeah, I've been trying to be clever and choose a route, a GPX file downloaded from a cycling website, which I'm pretty sure, where am I going left? Which I'm pretty sure every cyclist does, because who wants to cycle main roads when you can take your life into your own hands? on a single track gravel path like that and pulling out in front of me. <laughs> Didn't even look. I fully, I have fully turned into one of those cyclists. Wants me to go straight over. Feet out. <clears throat> Getting better with the cleat there. Temperature today is 15 degrees. So it is cool. It's not cold, but off the main road. Before anyone jumps into the comments and says, instead of looking at your watch, you should buy yourself a a computer for your bike. I will, I will eventually, but yeah, I'm spent enough on this hobby. And if once I've got London to Brighton done, which I don't need GPS for, because it's well marked out. So I don't need <clears throat> to be spending hundreds of more pounds when I've just done, you know, thousands, really. And of course, I want to have fun doing all of this. It's a sunny day and I'm cycling to the seaside. 1995 Ryan would have loved this. So the good news is, we're on some nice rural paths now. Uh, I've just checked my watch. Yeah, 50K I've got left to go. I have massively overestimated. Hang on, where am I going? Oh, gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way talking to camera. Back on course. Good, let's get this done, 50k. Hey, hey, hey. <clears throat> okay, we're on the main road now. 
going into Colchester. Just uh, came uncomfortably close to a tractor down a single lane road. Sit rep, I feel good. My legs feel good, my legs are nice and warm now, warmed up. It's a bit chilly though. This wind when you're going. The guy behind me just thought about pulling out in front of me. It's just these main roads that really, they're really potholey and bumpy. My watch reckons I've gone the wrong way. It reckons there's a cycle path over there, or probably a muddy trail, and it's trying to take me off the main road, which, if I'm honest with you, I'm happy with. I am happy to come off this road. Do I go right here? I don't know what to do. Yeah, I'm going massively the wrong way. But I've got a car right behind me. And now I've got a big hill. Ah. Ah. I don't know why this car isn't overtaking. Here we go. So my watch reckons that I should be on a trail about four or five hundred meters over there. I'm off route, but there's a road here which I'm going to take. I just need to go when there's no cars. I've decided to stick with this GPX route because if this works, if this works out well, and these routes turn out to be quite good routes, cycling routes. I use this website more often. Come on, Ryan. We're nearly back on trail. This is lovely. Even if I could, this was worth it. The sun's properly out now, which is warming me up. I mean, I know my heart rate's going, but there's a wicked breeze. Oh, come on, give me a break. Have I gone the... This is now saying I've gone the wrong way. This is killing me. I'm going to turn... Nearly never got my feet. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I thought I was going to fall off then. Full-on gravel path, this is. First time other than that little stint back there, but that was only about 100 meters where I need to kill myself and took my feet on my cleats. This looks like it goes on for quite a while. I'm pleased I found this. I'm pleased I never stuck to the roads. Hair waving in the wind. Sun's out. Let's do this. Straight off my bike into the bush. Okay, oh Jesus. Completely missed. Pedals upside down. Bike is slow in. Oh, come on, get, get your foot in. Right, foot's in. Good, I hope this gravel path is kind to me. And there's no glass. Uh. Uh. Cycle path this way. Can I come through? Yeah. Cheers, guys. Some tree surgeons cutting down a tree. Getting out of there. I wanted to make sure I can come through. I didn't want to jeopardize them. Fuck me, this is fast. You all right, guys? Yeah, no worries. Thank you. This is busy down here. Okay. When people gravel bike, do they put their feet in cleats? Like the ones we used to use as kids. <laughs> Not when they had cleats then. Right. Over the bridge. Down the other side. So this gravel path took me straight into the heart of Colchester's outer suburbs. Aye, aye, aye. Aye, aye, aye. 
and the start of the constant start stopping trying to traverse all the minor and slightly more major roads. Ah. Uh, I need to tighten these. Good, right, okay, we're now going through Colchester. Right, we really do need to kick on now. That's taken longer than I wanted. There's a whole army barracks and they're training to find mortars. Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. There's a whole army barracks here. <clears throat> I didn't even know this existed. And there's whole regiments of soldiers and there's a big group of them there training to find mortars. <laughs> I'm assuming they're not real, but yeah, still, still training. Oh, footing, come on. Okay, these, I'm not going to say it now, these footpaths are amazing. Not footpaths, cycle paths. This is a cycle path. And this is, God, imagine if this was all the way. Sorry. I lost loads of time trying to get through Colchester, which is a really, really busy city. If I ever do this route again, I reckon I could shave at least 45 minutes off the total time it took me just by knowing the route first and by being more confident with my cleats, ultimately meaning I didn't have to probably stop as much. Oh my God. When I try and rush these cleats, I always get them wrong. I get all nervy, I start panicking. And so I just go in, when I, when I think about it, it's not a problem. Oh. oh my God, cleats are going to be the death of me. I stopped at all the junctions, whether they were busy or not, knowing full well that if I got them wrong, I'd be flat on my side, still attached to my feet. And as much as that's really annoying on paths and trails, I really didn't want to do this on any road. Okay, guys. Okay. Annoyingly, I wasn't filming, but I just had my first full on fall off the bike went straight down like a sack of potatoes and uh, guess what caused it uh, cleats so yeah just full on landed on my side still attached to the bike that'll teach me for going around the corner slowly i had a sharp turn and rather than stopping and getting my feet out and turning i just thought oh, i'll go around at a snail's pace yeah, just taking a whack to my hip and my pride. Oh, my hip. Anyway, I've had my fall now, so hopefully I can get that out of the way. Done. Hopefully this is gonna take us out of Colchester. We've been in Colchester for a while and I've been doing a lot of winding, stopping, having to turn, get my feet out of the cleats. I don't want to fall over here. Oh man. Hey. It is just mud. What a depressing footpath. Oh, there's a lot of water here. I'm assuming it's left. I just want to get out of Colchester now. I'm not enjoying this uh, city cycling. I think I'd rather the country roads. I'm okay, right. Just need this car to go, good. And foot in straight in the cleat. See, when I don't pressurize myself, when I, don't, when I wait for a big enough gap that there's no cars come in, I don't feel under pressure, I can do it. But as soon as there's any pressure, it is like a spinning wheel of doom and I just can't get my foot in. Okay, left and then right. Oh, this is nice, this is the is this the river? This is the river that runs through Colchester, which is, which is what I need to cross because this runs out into the, into the estuary or the ocean. And, Col and uh, Clacton's the other side, obviously, being that it's on the coast. Over the bridge now. Be nice to cycle, cycle along the uh, river. See what I mean about all these windy turns? Glass in the road. Oh man, I've missed the path because of the glass. Yeah, all these windy turns have made it so it's near impossible to get any speed up. Because I and also I have to take my feet out of the cleats because I'm too nervy. I don't know if I've mentioned how much of a nerdy cyclist. Nerdy? 
I'm not nerdy. I don't worry about anything in regards to the actual spec of the bike. That makes me the opposite of nerdy, I suppose. But I don't know if I've mentioned how much of a nervy cyclist I am. Look at the river. Look at this, guys. Let me show you on this camera. Uh. Start climbing along the river. This. And we're about to turn off the river. I was about to say, this is what I wanted to do. Not cycle through traffic. Not some lunatic commuter. Guys, this is what I'm talking about. River. River. Gravel path. This is what cycling dreams are made of. I just need the sun to come out from behind the clouds. And I am living the dream. There's no turns in sight. I can see this footpath for as far as the eye was till the next bush. There's no turns, so no need to get my feet out the cleats. I can switch it. Oh, it stinks. There's been muck spreading. Uh, nice. Uh, we have arrived at Wivenhoe. That's Wivenhoe Station behind me. Wivenhoe marks the halfway point of the route. I had no idea of distance at this point. I know where Wivenhoe is in the car, but I knew this route was far more winding and driving from A to B in a car on the A12 isn't the same as riding to a destination on back streets, paths and gravel trails. That footpath along the, uh, along the river, it's the River Coin, C-O-L-N-E, or Coin or Cone, I don't know. Anyway, that footpath was phenomenal, really good. Wow, Wivenhoe's pretty. <laughs> Lovely old Norman church. This is a proper old village on the outskirts of Colchester. Right, we're on the main road into Clacton. I've just turned onto it. Can't get my foot in. Ah, oh, it's in. Ah, oh, it wants me to go left. Shit. Don't know why. I'm just going to follow it. That was the main road into Clacton. I'm just going to follow the route. It hasn't done me a disservice up till now. Now, I will say that following this GPX file that I downloaded from this website was probably the best thing I did. The route was fantastic. It's attempted to avoid all major roads and it took me on cycle routes as and when they appeared on route. If I followed my own instincts, I'm sure I would have ended up cycling the wrong way up the A12, straight under the first lorry, while still moaning about these bloody cleats. <sighs> so far, so good. I've absolutely no idea of distance because I've just got the map on my watch but I know we're not far from Clacton now. I'm now about 20K from Clacton. So far I've cycled about 45K due to all the winding and missed turns. I'm also about two hours into this ride and I feel really good. I feel really good actually. I need to go to the toilet. Actually, I might just go here. I'm genuinely pleased with my fitness levels. Thanks for all my Zwifting over the past 12 months. I've really enjoyed this ride. It wasn't the ordeal I remember from five years ago. I'm really pleased I found it this much fun as it would have been a very, very expensive mistake if I hadn't. Okay, we're back on the main road. Had a wee in a bush. I feel like this has been a really, really successful ride. I've um, kind of got my head around the gears kinda still not 100 percent sure what the gears on this side do but whenever i've gone to change them they've done something yeah i feel a lot more comfortable on these busier roads as you could probably tell with these cars zooming past me really really good venture out cleats oh they're still my nemesis but i am getting better at them i've had a fall which as much as I'm embarrassed by it, I feel I've kind of got it out the way now. 
Um, I don't want to have too many of them though because that hurt. And even though I've lost 95 kg, I don't want to have 95 kg come down on the floor like that too often. My hip's still hurting. Sit rep, how do I feel? Feel fine, absolutely fine. Uh, bum feels good. These shoes are brilliant. These shoes I've bought, these Shimano. I mentioned them in my last video. They're so good. Oh, I've just fallen off, fallen off the bike again. That's twice now. I've only fallen off because I was stationary at the traffic lights. Oh, I've just come on the pavement just to get out the road for a second because I had a queue of cars looking at me. Now I will say this fall properly annoyed me. It was avoidable. I stopped fine, pulled up to a set of traffic lights with a queue of cars behind me, stopped perfectly fine, got my feet out, but when the lights turned green, I put my feet back into the cleat, went to pull away, and I went straight down on my right side, the opposite side to my earlier fall. That's now both my hips I've done. Now I would say I'm embarrassed, but I'm a 44 year old man out in public wearing skin tight Lycra. If I can do that, then falling over isn't the end of the world, even if it is in front of a line of amused, slightly confused motorists. However, it's still, still really, really annoying. I'm, gonna, I'm getting the ump of these cleats now. I just want my foot to go in so I can pedal. Right, it's me, not the cleats. But I've, already, I've just fallen off at the traffic lights. The annoying thing was I fell off when I, I managed to get my feet out for the red, stopped, and then went to go, overbalanced to the right. My right foot was in, my left foot wasn't. But obviously I'm, I'm falling to the right. I just fell, yeah, straight on. So that's both both sides now, both hips, really annoying. All right, I just wanna get this ride finished. I'm really determined to not allow these cleats to beat me. I don't care if I arrive black and blue. I will master them and be able to ride from A to B without falling over like a drunk statue. They're also really comical falls as well, like a tree slowly falling in the woods. I can feel it happening and there's nothing I can do to stop it as I frantically try and get my feet to detach from the cleats. It's the worst feeling in the world. There's a hill here. Then I come to a hill and this super tuck cheered me up. No one can remain annoyed when they're able to super tuck down a hill on a summer's day. So I've come to realize that actually on the bike, I'm not too bad. My bike fitness is good. It's all right. I'm able to do stuff like this. It hasn't taken the entire day to do it. I haven't had to stop for breaks or to eat anything. I'm able to do it with 500 millilitres of water. So yeah, happy days. So from that perspective, tick. I just can't bloody stop and start is my problem. Stopping and starting with these flipping cleats. I'm gonna dream about them tonight. This is nice. Cycling through a village green. Road surface isn't very good, a bit cobbly. Make sure I stay on track because I, I get in a zone don't pay attention to the map and I'll make a wrong turn. I keep going, I don't turn. I do the opposite, I'll make a wrong turn. I don't turn. This is pretty. We're in Clacton now, on the main road. Actually in Clacton, we're in Clacton. Uh, I was about to say on the main road into Clacton, but we're in Clacton, I just need to get to the seafront. I need to go round this roundabout, and I'm gonna do it on the cycle path, which I just clocked, because I was about to bomb it out onto the roundabout. Roundabouts are hair raising. Okay, we're over. Uh, where's it taking me? It's taking me up there. Uh, hang on, this doesn't feel right. I'm gonna check the map. It's okay. We're in the right spot. We're in the right place. We're going the right way, I think. Right, I went the wrong way. I just had to backtrack. There's a footpath here. These are the things I keep missing. No, I keep saying footpath, there's a, this is a cycle path. And this obviously takes me to the seafront because I'm less than a mile away. And I can hear the seagulls. Dog nearly took me out there, did you see that? 
and we're here. This is it, guys. This is it. Seafront. I can feel the wind, the freezing, salty wind on my face. Well, right, I need to find Tracy now. She's my ride home. I don't to eat as well. I'm gonna get, get a bag of chips at the seaside. I don't know where she is. I need to ring her. Where are you? Past up here. I'm on. That's exactly where I am. Did you know where the house upside down house is? Oh, there you are. Oh, did it, guys? That's it. Done. Oh, I need to hit stop. How was it? Three hours. Bloody hell. That was longer than you thought. Did you get lost? Yeah, I made some wrong turns. I made quite a few wrong turns. Got it? I think that's kind of level. How's it that side? Yeah, it's about even. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Tracy and I really enjoyed our chip shop chip lunch, sat on a bench overlooking the sea with a feeling of knowing that I had arrived there under my own steam, but not so knackered that I can't enjoy the rest of my day. That's a really, really good feeling. Probably one of the best lunches I've had in a long time. This was my first real long distance bike ride and with the exception of the two fairly hefty falls straight onto both of my hips, this was a very successful first attempt at a bike ride from one location to another. Now the good thing about this ride was that it pretty much included everything from small country roads to busier B roads, muddy trails to well maintained town centre cycle paths. He had everything and having now completed it I feel 100 times better about enjoying the London to Brighton bike ride I've got happening next week. This ride in total was about 62.2k, further than the original planned route as I made quite a few wrong turns and mistakes and rather than backtracking I ventured on finding the path further down the road I was on, ultimately adding further distance. I will eventually invest in a Garmin bike GPS computer thing but until then my watch will do I just need to remember to look at it more and spend less time sightseeing. The mistakes of not turning were my mistake not the watch or a computer wouldn't make any difference. I still need to remember to look. Now I might try and squeeze in one more long ride before the big one in a week from now. If I do then I'll share it on here. I really hope you like my cycling videos. In the meantime thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if you want to. I've got a feeling a lot more in real life cycling videos may appear on my channel this summer. I enjoyed it that much.